Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Podcast, late night show today. Uh, so I guess y'all heard the news. Oh, Gilbert, look at that, look at that. Gilberto Ramirez uh, misses weight badly. Um, the Rosado fight is off. Is that good news? Is that bad news? I know a lot of y'all were against the fight. Um, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, all forms of social media. Uh, quick hits comes at you every day, eight to ten minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, guys, let's get into today's show. Gilberto Ramirez. Weighs in initially at 187 and then 182.6. Uh, so he missed his weight grotesquely. He released a statement afterwards saying he tried to the very last minute to make weight. No, he didn't. He was 12 pounds over. And then he lost five pounds. Right? So he wasn't even dried out. He didn't try to make weight at all. And this is nonsensical, guys. This is nonsensical. Um, look, he wasn't even close. He didn't come in two pounds over. He didn't, a kid whose body got bigger on him as he got older. He just didn't make the weight. And I, I, I think he was bigger than he thought he was, and he wasn't going to kill himself to make the weight, and he didn't. And he came in a weight he knew Gabe. Look, Gabe was giving up size already, even if uh, Gilberto made the weight. He was giving up a lot of weight. It was so much weight, most of y'all didn't like, a lot of y'all didn't like the fight. Because of the, of, of the mismatch in size. You know, Zordo is a massive 175 who talks about being heavyweight. Gabe comes up from 54. Gabe's a 60-pounder, right? Like, Gabe, I know he's fought 68 and stuff, but his best weight is 60. His best weight is 60. You know, uh, you know Gabe is old. He's shot. He's been through a lot. He's not what he was. He's still a good fighter. I'm sure he he'd make it compelling and interesting. But you know, I like everyone else thought Zordo was just too big for him, you know. And he's gonna get Gabe. Um, I, I know, uh, you know, Gabe is fought at 68. And that's fine. But Gabe's a small 68. He's really a 60, and that's where he should be. And he's going to fight, you know, Zordo at 75. He's going to give a ton of weight. And then Zordo misses weight. Zordo knew that fight was going to I don't know if he wasn't ready, if camp didn't go well. But he walked in there knowing he wasn't going to fight. And that is a waste of everyone's time. Look, you got a couple options. You can either renegotiate the weight, right, come in with a catch weight, say 78, 82, whatever, you know, whatever, and then make that weight if you can't get down to 75. Because maybe he can't. I, I I don't know. Um, but you knew if the weight's not coming off, it's not coming off. He walked in today 12 pounds over. Like I've heard stories of guys cutting 10, 11, 12 pounds overnight. That weight's not coming off. It's not coming off. He knew he wasn't going to make the weight. He knew he wasn't going to make the weight. Right? So you can either renegotiate the weight. That's one option. Or the second option is get a new opponent. Because you know, I don't know if Gabe would have taken the fight at 180, let's say, hypothetically. I I, I don't know. And, yes, Zorno could have made 180, right? I know he came in way over that, but he didn't even try to make weight. You can tell when he comes in at 187 and then comes in at 182, he wasn't drained. He wasn't dried out. He came in and sweat off almost five pounds in two hours. He wasn't dried Right, he could have cut weight more. He could have made this weight had he really wanted to or gotten close. He didn't want to make it. He didn't want to fight. Hey, look, you're a professional prize fighter. Prize fighters 
make weight. Prize fighters fight in a weight class. If you don't make weight, you're not a prize fighter. Prize fighters make a weight. You know, he, he can apologize all he wants, but this is nonsensical. And, and, and now it kills the card. Golden Boy's offering refunds. What's interesting is if Golden Boy drops him or what happens here. Because this is this is outrageous what he did, really. He didn't even try to make the weight. I, I guess it's just time for – look, and, and Zorro can go get a belt at Cruiserweight, you know. Cruiserweight's never a stacked division. Go be a Cruiserweight champ. Has there ever been a Mexican Cruiserweight champ? Someone fact check that. I, I don't know. Um, I don't know if there's ever been um, – someone someone should look that up and see if there's ever been a Mexican Cruiserweight champ because he could be the first or, you know, one of a few if there has been one before. But he, he missed it too bad. He should go fight a cruiserweight. And I, I think he can do well at cruiserweight. I do. I mean, he gets hit a little bit too much, but he's got skills. He can bang, right? He's got a good chin. I, I think he can compete as a cruiserweight. I really do. Um, But I, I think what he did today was absolute nonsense, and it, it, it's horrible for boxing. You make yourself look ridiculous. The fans are out. Thank God Golden Boy is offering a refund. Now I'm going to see. Let's see what Golden Boy does with Zordo. Can they sue him? I don't know. You know, talk to a lawyer, get a lawyer on the phone. I don't know what you can do. But what he did was absolutely, oh, that's ridiculous. A crime in Italy. Let me know what you guys think. Um, so now we're going to get Jojo Diaz and, and, and Gesta tomorrow in the main event, which is a fun fight. It's not really a main event fight, but this is what you get, right? Um, so you're going to get Gesta and you're going to uh, get Jojo Diaz in, in a fun fight. But, you know, Zordo was going to eventually break down a much smaller game Rosado and beat him. But that fight was going to be fun while it lasted, too. You know, did the boxing gods kind of get this right? You know, should this fight not have happened? You know, should this fight, you know, I, I've heard a lot of that. You know, these two shouldn't be in the ring together. This shouldn't be commissioned, yada, yada, yada. Are you guys on that track? Do you guys agree with that? Do you think this fight should have never happened in the first place? Because I'm getting a lot of that. I'm getting a lot of that. Um, let me know what you guys think about that. Um, it's just, I mean, was the fight just wrong? Was it just wrong in the first place? I'm hearing a lot of that. I'm hearing a lot of that. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, follow 3D Boxing, all forms of social media. Quick hits come at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Uh, and uh, please also subscribe to our channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is March 18th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.